Welcome back to the Hot Tip Bet Daily Pick Show here for Thursday, August 31st. Back with some college football action here to kick off week one. Got two games that I want to take a look at here for Thursday's card, so we'll jump into that in a second. But quickly before we do, quick channel update um, for this upcoming weekend. I am going to be traveling a little bit for Labor Day, so I'm recording some of the college football videos a little bit early. For all you guys who watch here on YouTube, not a huge deal. They're still going to come out at the same time they do every morning, um, and you'll still get your same great video not going to have any of the results obviously in any of the college football videos here this weekend because well i don't know them yet obviously check the website down below hit the links there but for all you dub club subscribers you're going to get some great access here this week um probably by the time you're watching this if not sometime early thursday morning all of the shows for all the college football slates this entire weekend will be up on the website. So that early access, those ad-free videos, you'll be able to watch it right there, get the best odds before they potentially move um, as the weekend goes on. So if you want to subscribe to Dub Club, definitely a perk there. You also get the Dub Club notifications, the Discord access, and of course, my recommended unit size for all of my picks here for week one of college football. And right now, use code CHRIS3 at checkout to get your first three months for only $19.99. That code is going away next Thursday, week one of the NFL season so um, make sure you sign up before then to, to lock in your first three months here of football season um, a, a great time to sign up this weekend with all the bonus content so head over to dub club sign up and let's get into thursday's show now the first game i want to take a look at here for week one the first game for thursday's card we got florida taking on utah the urban meyer bowl here in this one florida comes into this game as the 63rd overall team in the hot tibet power ranking utah is the number two overall team now, I, I got to throw the disclaimer out for this game especially, but just for college football season in general, obviously those rankings don't correlate very well at all with the AP top 25 or whatever, you know, traditional ranking you're looking at. It's 100% dictated on how they're performing on the field right now. You know, a lot of stats based on last year, but um, Florida at 63, obviously they're not the 63rd worst team in the country, but just how the rankings and, and how the spreads are projected, that's where it's going to be. So if you they're a little bit off. Don't yell at me too much. Um, it's not that I hate your favorite team. In fact, I have nothing to really control um, other than what the model says there. But um, as far as offense goes for these two teams, Utah certainly has the advantage. Fifth overall, while Florida 53rd coming into this game. Defensively, Utah also the advantage in the model 15th, while Florida is 76th. But there are some question marks for this Utah team coming into this game. At the time of recording this, really still up in the air whether or not Cam Rising is going to be playing in this game. At, at this point, I would lean more towards he's not. I mean, the knee issue that he's or injury that he suffered um, during the Rose Bowl. Don't know if it was an ACL exactly or what it was, but that would be a quick turnaround if it was an ACL. Um, but even not just speculating. I mean, the 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 spread, you know, opening up at around ten, down to four and a half at the moment. Who knows exactly if he's going to play or not, but I think it's very hard to pick a side, um, you know, this early on. I think I'd wait basically till the last second. If he is playing and you can get four and a half, I like it. Even if it goes back up to seven, seven and a half, six and a half, whatever, I would still like it with rising on the field. But the way I want to look at this game is actually the over. The model projects Utah at 42.8 points in this game, Florida at 22.64, good enough for 65.45 projected points for this one, um, which is a huge margin over what the total is, 40, uh, 43 and a half um, is what we are at um, here coming into this one, opened up at 46 and a half, 45 and a half, depending where you're looking at it, uh, but 43 and a half is where we currently sit. Obviously, the cam rising, the, the Utah quarterback issue is some of it, um, you know, Graham Mertz on the other side of things for Florida, who knows exactly what he's going to look, is he going to be Anthony Richardson, you know, is he going to be worse? Well, obviously, he was decent at Wisconsin, but had some problems. Nonetheless, does have a strong offensive line in Florida ahead of him. Um, but overall, you know, obviously Utah is a very, very powerful team at home, has looked very, very good at home um, over the last few seasons. In this game particularly, I think we're going to see a pretty high scoring one. Even if Rising doesn't play, even if Graham Mertz doesn't necessarily get off to his you know, greatest of starts, I think both these offenses are more than capable of putting up some points. I think both these defenses have some holes. They're obviously not, you know, huge gaping holes necessarily, um, but definitely can be picked apart a little bit. Um, and I just generally think this one's going to be a pretty high scoring game. The model obviously absolutely loves it. Just this game in general with how low it ranks Florida, a 28.58% edge. I don't know that I'd go quite that high of an edge on this one. Um, I don't think the, the over 65 is, is my actual projection, um, but I do like the pick taking over 43 and a half points here for Florida, Utah. 
And the second game I want to take a look at here for Thursday, the other kind of marquee matchup um, that we got here on Thursday night, Nebraska taking on Minnesota for Nebraska coming to this one to the 67th overall team in the hot tip power ranking, Minnesota, the fourth overall team offensively, Nebraska 75th overall, Minnesota 46th. Defensively, Minnesota is actually the number one team in the country entering the season, Nebraska 44th. Might be a little bit high on the defense, but this Minnesota defense is very, very good. And I think it's going to cause this Nebraska team a lot of problems. Obviously, Matt Rule coming into this Nebraska program is, in theory, a large step up from the Scott Frost era. But it's going to take time to really see how it plays out and, and see, you know, what he is able to do with this team. Um, does bring in Jeff Sims, the transfer from Georgia Tech, who, you know, looks to, to bolster up this Nebraska offense a little bit. Um, but I think it's going to be a long time coming, and I think it's going to be very hard in week one here against this Minnesota defense um, to get a lot of stuff going early on. As far as the model goes here for this one, does really like Minnesota. While Minnesota struggled at the end of last season, I do have some high hopes for them this season. Um, projected at 36.59 points here in this game, Nebraska at 17.29 um, and really, I do like where Minnesota sits here. 19 and a half may be a little bit strong, but I think it should certainly be double digits. I was a little bit surprised when it was only a touchdown for Minnesota here entering this game. Hasn't moved much from where it originally opened. Um, still minus seven there. A 27.26% edge for Minnesota. Funny enough, these two games are in like the top five of the biggest edges from the model for the entirety of week one. And they just both somehow ended up on Thursday night. Um, it's kind of weird how some of the standalone games ended up like that on this week one schedule. But nonetheless, I do really like Minnesota in this game. I think they pick apart this Nebraska team, taking them minus seven here against the Huskers. And that'll do it here for Thursday's show. Now, if you want to see more sports betting action for everything going on here for week one, head over to hottipbets.com. You can take a look at all of the matchup previews for all of the games. Obviously, still got all of the MLB stuff up on the website as well. Unfortunately, no MLB shows since I am traveling this weekend. I'm not really going to be able to, to pre-record any of those, but all of those are up on the website. Horse racing, UFC up on the website as well. Lots of stuff to look at this time of year. Um, and if you aren't following the social links down below, check them out. Facebook, Instagram. TikTok, Twitter to stay up to date with everything going on over there. If you're watching here on YouTube, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And most importantly, drop your comment down below. Let me know who you guys are betting on here for today's card. And thanks for watching today's show. I will see you guys tomorrow.